guys what is going on it is your old pal here chh today we are green because for some reason that's the color i'm going with well it's because the box set is green but we're talking about one of the most iconic independent characters ever created this is a 4k box set that i've been super excited about what are we talking about we are talking about the trauma toxic avenger 4k collection this is something that I was just so excited. I love The Toxic Avenger. Is The Toxic Avenger a horror film? Well, if you ask Lloyd Kaufman, he'll tell you no. But it's a movie or franchise that the horror fans have seemingly taken in as one of their own. There's gore and violence and over-the-topness and a lot of that cheese factor that you would find in horror films. But The Toxic Avenger is a insane, drug-fueled comic book, action, blood-splattered kind of movie. Its legacy is cemented in history for sure, and when it comes to the independence, you look at Charlie Band, and then you look at Lloyd Kaufman, two of the all-time greats and legends in this industry. And Toxic Avenger has stood the test of time, so much so that they even made a cartoon called The Toxic Crusaders. I have a video game for my Sega Genesis about The Toxic Crusaders, and it's a pain in my ass, but it's a fun game to play. Guys, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this box set, and you guys can see what the packaging looks like, and I'll tell you my experience with this box set uh, this is coming from the good folks at troma and mvd you know it's not hard shell it is made out of nice real material and what's really cool is the front is all embossed so the toxic avenger you can feel it raised toxic you can feel all the raisedness and you got this gooey green slimy cover art with the gold uh toxic uh coin on the front on the back it says uh the title rosters for the movies and it tells you that they are restored in 4k now this is one of those instances again that if I tried to watch every drop of special features that they have on here, I literally would, I would look different when I'm done. It does come with this cool little card, old school picture of uh, Lloyd, and here's a new one on the back. I've got to get that trauma shirt. So we get our four movies. Here is The Toxic Avenger 4K, and it comes with a 4K and a Blu-ray. And I'll tell you this right now, we'll look at the menu screens for these. All the special features are on the Blu-rays. I wouldn't assume that's a deal breaker because if you have a 4K player, you have a Blu-ray player. And I would have to assume that these are uh, region free. Yes, they're all region free. Uh, next up, we have Toxic Avenger 2. Uh, now, if you're wondering, let me talk briefly about the movies. If you're wondering what, what, describe Toxic Avenger. How nutty are these films? Put it to you like this. There's a moment in part two where one of the bad people is explaining how Toxie has taken over Tromaville and it's out of the grasps of the evil people. And they, <laughs> the woman references something that happened in the first movie and she goes, but if you remember in the first movie, real too, when Toxie did this, like that's how over the top these movies are. The charm is so undeniable with these. The first superhero from New Jersey is back. And in Toxic Avenger 2, it goes so out there from the first, like the first one is insanely funny. And I love it. But the second one, Toxie ends up in Japan. Like, it's not quite space, but it's it's far away. Next up, we have Toxic Avenger 3, which has... Uh, I love 3. I'll tell you what my favorite is in a second. Toxic Avenger Part 3, The Last Temptation of Toxie. Now, there is something that I should bring up now. There was people talking about Part 3 not playing properly on people's players. Um, I have a Sony UBX700, I believe. And mine's working fine, but Troma did make a public statement about this. So stand by whether they do have some serious issues with this disc on multiple players. I'm sure they'll make it right. Uh, but if you do, in fact, have the Sony UBX700, which I believe is the name of my player, my, mine plays f no, no issue. So keep that in mind. I don't know about PS5. I'll know how it plays in a PS5 in about a week because I'm getting one. And I can follow up in the comments on that if you use a PS5 for a player. But uh, I just wanted to stop and make sure that's known right now that that is an issue happening. Uh, again, you get 4K and Blu-ray. All special features for these are on the Blu-ray. And basically any sort of special feature I think that happened in the past, any sort of legacy special fe special feature is in fact on the uh the, the, this release. This is the most comprehensive release you can get for these films. I had the old Blu-ray collection of the Toxic Avenger films, and it was like a one Blu-ray case kind of multi-pack thing. What is my favorite Toxic Avenger? I'm so glad you asked. Without question, my favorite Toxic Avenger film 
is Toxic Avenger 4 Citizen Toxie. This is the first one I saw. This was this one came out in 2000 where, you know, the third one came out in like 89 and then the first two came out in the early 80s. So Lloyd really didn't try to ride off of the coattails too much of this series after the first two. He did a lot of things and he spaced out the other two movies. But Citizen Toxie is hysterical. It it's it's so sleazy. There's so much nudity, insanity. Ron Jeremy's in here who's in jail now. Uh, Lemmy from Motorhead <laughs> is in part four. Um, part four is the most insane drug fueled movie you'll ever see com- besides like Terror Firmer, which if you're a trauma fan, you know how crazy that movie is. Citizen Toxie to me is hands down the absolute best Toxic Avenger. Opinions will vary on this. There's there's a cult fan base really for each entry. Uh, I really like two when he goes to Japan, but part four there is nothing on earth like Toxic Avenger 4. It is so insane. And it came out in 2000, so it's got like that late 90s attitude with it's it's nutty. Let's go ahead and look at the special features on the Blu-ray discs for all four films and then we'll be right back. All right, here is the first Toxic Avenger film. We've got a slew of interviews, special videos, 40 years of trauma behind the scenes. On the second disc, we've got of course commentaries interviews, original DVD intros, all kinds of stuff, trailers. Here's everything you'll get special feature-wise on The Last Temptation of Toxie. And here we go on disc four. So kudos. I mean, they pretty much gave you every bit of uh, legacy features you could you can get on these. These movies, I'll be honest with you, looked absolutely incredible on 4K. They all did. Um, unfortunately, I would say... And really not unfortunately, because like I said, they all look incredible, way better than the Blu-ray release that came out a few years ago. I, I can tell you because I have it. Um, part four is probably the one that it doesn't have the biggest uh, wow factor. Again, it looks great, way better than the old releases. But honestly, like part one, two, and three, the latter film or the, 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 yeah, the older films, the 80s ones, they all look incredible. Part four looks really good. Like I would give one, two, and three nine or nine and a half out of tens, and then I would give part four like an eight or an eight and a half out of ten. Uh, but remarkable to watch these in such high quality. It's almost, it's almost funny seeing the Toxic Avenger films in 4K, and I mean that in a positive way because these movies are so outlandish. So to see them in 4K is just insane. Um, so these are legendary films, guys. If you've never seen the Toxic Avengers, I guarantee you've heard of it. There's no way you haven't. You have to live under rocks and not heard, have heard of the Toxic Avenger. One of the most bat s series ever. I love it. This release is going to get a solid, 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 like 9.8 out of 10. Um, so much special features. The picture quality is sensational on these. So I fully watched one, two, and then I, I went through about 20, 25 minutes of three and then the same for four because I, I had to get this review out. I, otherwise, and then I, like, I tried to watch some special features. Like there's a tribute to Lemmy on the Citizen Toxie special features, part four. But to watch all of it would take me so long. I would look different when I'm done. That's how much stuff is on this, guys. Toxic Avenger films on 4K is something that, you know, I've always wanted. So if you if you take Lloyd and Charlie Ban, if you take like Charlie Ban, you take his films, they're kind of more in the you could push them more towards the Scream Factory style. But if you take Lloyd movies, they're gonna go more towards the Vinegar Syndrome style. Uh, if you know what I mean. And I think Vinegar Syndrome might have helped with the 4K releases of these. I'm not sure. They didn't do it. I mean, this is MVD and Troma. But I, I don't know if they helped with the scans. I could be off on that. But regardless, they are incredible scans. Super fan of Toxic Avenger. One of my favorite characters ever. Legendary. Absolutely legendary. Bat-S movies. Nudity. So over the top. I think there's a, there's a scene in part two, I think, where... Like a KKK guy gets out of a limo that a little person like so over the top offensive that it's like not offensive because it's throwing all that insanity on its head. Lloyd was a very smart guy. He always got Lloyd. Lloyd Kaufman is very, very intelligent. He always knew like how to like twist stuff to make everybody laugh at everything. So I, I, I could go on and on. I love Lloyd Kaufman. Let me know your favorite Toxic Avenger film. You can tell a lot about a person by their favorite Toxic Avenger film. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's your old pal CHH.
We'll see you guys next time. Huge giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.